Hey everyone, today I'd like to talk about a cool feature of custom number formatting in Sheets that allows you to separate a format so that if it's positive, it will display one way, or if it's negative, it will display as another way. And we're also going to talk about colors and how you can set those. So first, let's make a random number. We'll do just a random number with two decimal places. And then we'll click on it, then we'll format it. Go into Format, Number, More Formats, and then Custom Number Format. So what you're going to want to do, and I have a previous video on this that you could watch that explains part of this, but what you'll want to do is type in hashtag, comma, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. What this does is it makes it so that when there is a number that is more than three digits, there will be a comma to separate the thousands place and then so on. Also, if you want to have decimal places, then you'll do dot zero zero or just one zero would be to the nearest tenth. Two zeros would be to the hundredth or you don't need it at all. You could go even further, but we're going to include that. And then also what we want to do is make a color. So we're going to explain the colors real quick. In custom number formatting, there's some base colors and you'll need to put in a bracket and then type in the color name. For example, you can type in black, um, B-L-A-C-K, and then end your brackets. You could type in white, you could type in red, blue, green, magenta, yellow, cyan. And it'll give you a little preview here of what it's gonna look like so you can see. There are 56 different colors you could format in here. The eight, which I just mentioned, are the only ones where you can type in the name of the color, and they also go in order. So for example, magenta is, I believe, color six? No, that's yellow. Color seven. So the first eight are those colors I just listed, and then the rest keep going. So color nine is like a reddish brown, and there's 56 of them. For the sake of this, we're going to use color 10 because I like this green better than the standard green they would give you. And then what we also want to do is add a little plus in front of it. Uh, I use this in my stock watch list spreadsheet so that you can see the change of a stock and it will display as plus whatever it is in green. Now, what you want to do is make it so that if the result is negative, it will display the same way, but with a negative sign instead of positive and in red instead of green. So you're going to put a semicolon to separate it, and then you'll see that the negative option pops up and you'll start entering. So you'll just do the same thing, but with negative, and then hashtag, comma, hashtag, 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 dot zero, zero, and then in brackets, we're just going to type the word red, R-E-D, because I like the standard red they give you. End your bracket, and then hit apply. And then you'll see it'll format just like this. Uh, we'll do a negative number under it. We'll do it in the thousands for the sake of showing it off. And then if you remember in my previous video, you can click on the format that we just made and then hit paint format and then click on the new cell for it to copy over. And it looks just like that. So there you have it. That's the simple way to explain how you can create differences between positive or negative results in your custom number formatting as well as adding colors to it. You can play around with it and do whatever you'd like with it. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please give a like and then comment if you have any questions or any other things you'd like to learn in terms of sheets. And as always, please subscribe. Thank you.